All right guys, we're gonna talk about combining like terms today. So when I see this word combining, I always think of cooking and mixing ingredients, specifically like baking cake or cookies or something like that. When you combine the ingredients, you're putting the eggs and the flour and the sugar and the milk all in one bowl and you're combining them. You're getting them all together. So combining means getting together. And then like, when things are alike, it means that they're similar. So we're mixing together similar terms are kind of like math things. So we're mixing together similar math things. And I wanna show you an example that doesn't look like math, and then we're gonna do some examples that do look more the way we see it in math. So here I have three stars plus three moons plus two stars minus one moon. So I see that and I can easily see, well, I have stars here and stars over here and I have moons here and moons over here. Instead of writing this really long problem, I can combine them together and make a shorter, more simple problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circle my stars. So I have three stars and two stars. And if I combine them together, that makes five stars. All right, now let's look at my moons. Now when I am labeling or annotating my problem, I'm gonna do a different thing. I circled it here, now I'm gonna box it just so I can make sure I know the difference between them. So I have three positive moons, so three moons and I have a negative one negative one moon we're going to subtract one moon all right so when I combine those I can do a t-chart if I want over here I have positive and negative I have three positive one negative positive team wins by two so I have a positive two moons and if you think about it, if I had three moons over here minus that one moon then that makes two moons. So now my simplified expression is five stars plus two moons. And that's exactly what I have up here. I have five stars being added, and then I'm adding two moons because I had three here and I subtracted one. So when we combine like terms, we're taking something that's longer and we're seeing what is similar and how can I combine it. In the next video, I'm gonna show you three examples of combining like terms. That is how you're gonna see it in math. But this video is just an intro to show you how to think about it, maybe outside of a traditional math way.